Hi guys, I got a beautiful box, a Christmas present, and I wanted to share with you the opening and unboxing what is in there and who is sending this present to me in this end of the year. The present is from Kwitz, and there is a note and it's handwriting. I really appreciate details like that. And there is a beautiful soft blanking. Guys, believe me, that's a real good present for me. The reason why I appreciate a present like this is because when we make videos, we spend several hours editing and sometimes it takes one, two days. In my case, I make the videos in English and Spanish. And I live in a very cold place. Here, if I hit the place the night before, next morning is going to be about six degrees Celsius. To make it comfortable, heat to be comfortable to me, means 18 degrees Celsius. And that is still being a low temperature. So a blanking like that, in order to work several hours in the computer or just to stay here, becomes in a good on time in this winter accessory needed for the job. So I really appreciate this beautiful present. Thanks, Kwit. What else is in there? Okay, this is something cute. I like it is magnets. Yes, the kind of magnets we stick on the refrigerators uh, in our home to hold papers. And each magnet represents some of the top selling products from Kwitz. And that's a nice beautiful detail too. The next one is a beautiful multimeter from Kwitz. Kwitz always give us a nice looking multimeter and this is just another concept. There is no knob. It's a flat screen, full of color, and also nice features. Let's unbox this thing. The cover is hard and feels compact. As I said, there are not knob and it has buttons and the buttons are silicone. Feels good. The test probes are not long leads. And sometimes we need long leads when we work in industrial electronics or on the field for electrical panels and stuff like that. But when we work on the workbench, the last thing we want is one extra half meter of test lead around the table. So it's a matter of what do you need or what do you want. For me, on the workbench, I love the short test leads. On the field, the long ones. Those ones are ideal for a small table, a small workbench to work with. It comes with the thermocouple, and if we make a test for DNA, we will know this hair belongs to a Chinese guy. So we got a present from one of the workers too. This is what we call the mentality of ready to go. The device worked with batteries and it came with the batteries. Just put the batteries and keep going. Thanks Kwit. You know guys, this thing needs alkaline batteries, four of them. But we are always the curious ones if we can replace the alkaline batteries four rechargeable ones and here we have rechargeable 
and there is not low battery message good so we can use rechargeable batteries with this unit i don't know how long can it rates until it reaches a minimal voltage level maybe someday we can make an experiment with it i will put the alkaline back anyway all right now let's talk about it this needle is moving because this multimeter has the function auto and auto what it does is detects automatically the function that's the reason why we don't have a knob for, for, for function after some voltage level probably higher than the typical silicon uh, voltage uh, drop it will detect if it is a voltage measurement in AC, DC, a resistor measurement or continuity, and we'll do it by this own. And that's very practical when we are in the workbench doing tests and measurements. We don't have to pay attention to the knob, and the thing will do it automatically like a nice assistant preparing the multimeter for us. Like a typical multimeter, we have the test leads connection and with uh, one of the cables, we can detect if it is a live hot line in the AC from the outlet or ohms, capacitors, diodes or continuity. Also for voltage, frequency measurement or duty cycle and temperature. All of them with this test lead and the common. Also, it has an amp meter. This multimeter doesn't have the micro amperes. It's useful for electronics, but most of the guys who are really working deep in electronics likes the micro amperes on the multimeter. Anyhow, I think it's a multimeter made for electronics. The true guys made for everything because it's a pocket size multimeter. You can put it in your pocket. It fits even in the shirt pocket and you are ready to go and to work with it. Nevertheless, this amp meter has a fuse protection and that's important to say it. function of on off light and selection hold for a measurement and the cursors for the pointer very practical and one of the things I like it is the feature of if I select here ohms volts or even amperes it will tell me where to make the connection And that's a nice feature. In this case, it's telling me the lead is missing on the connectors. So it's full of features. This is not a product review. This was just an unboxing of the present and we approached to make an unboxing of the multimeter. Guys, nice and cute, and the kind of multimeter that many people like to unplug the test leads. It depends, as I will say. What do you need for the occasion is the best multimeter you can get. Palm size, pocket size, 
practical, nice display. By the way, the angle of view, we can say it's a kind of total angle of view, like 270 degrees from anywhere. Well, here I have the reflex of the what I have in front, but as we can watch from anywhere, it's a nice view. And what if I turn off the lights? Cute. Guys, a practical multimeter takes small room on the table. Maybe doesn't have the micro ampers like this other guy. But at the end of the day, it's a nice multimeter from Kwitz. And I really appreciate it. And let me tell you something. I like it. Has the pointer of the functions up there because we human beings we have the tendency to concentrate the eye on the reading of the panel and we don't see what is down here. Doesn't it happen to you too? So I think this uh, feature solved that, that problem from the human brain. Also, there is a double reading display. It can show the voltage and the frequency, the frequency and the duty cycle, the voltage and the temperature where I'm doing the measurement. Important to know for the ones who are learning electronics, we consider calibration that the reading is correct if it is between the 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. Sometimes, like here, I make measurements under 20 degrees Celsius. So it's important to me sometimes to wait until the place heats to be able to show the right measurements. But before to close this, as I said, this was just unboxing of the Christmas present, not the product review. Let's take a look at the precision of the device with a 10 volts reference. 10 millivolts higher of the 10 volts voltage reference. So that's great. Thanks guys by watching the video. Thanks Kwit for the Christmas present. I really appreciate it. And thank you for this wonderful multimeter. I wanted to share that with you guys because it's a nice QT1. But also Kwit has one more model that is a top seller. And for the ones who are doing electronics and want a bigger size multimeter, I can recommend you this other model too that has the maximum and minimums for holding on the reading. Thanks guys for watching the video. See you next time. Are coming more videos about electronics laboratory, electronics itself, and more product reviews.